Hello, David. Hi, Stan. How are you today? Pretty good. And this is from Tammy. This is Tammy. Tammy, sit. Oh, good little girl. Can you do nose touches? Would you like to come inside? Sure. Deal. Now, uh, how old is Tammy? Tammy's four months. Now, David, uh, Tammy's a Rottweiler. Why'd you get a Rottweiler? Well, I like big dogs. I had a German Shepherd growing up, and uh, they're certainly big dogs when they're full grown. They also are very loyal and very intelligent, and those are two things that I, uh, I look for in, in a dog. Now, how large were Tammy's sire and dam? The mother was 90 pounds, and the father, I think, was about 135, 140. Now, if we look at her paws, you can see that they're really big. There's a line which goes that dogs grow into their paws. So she's got a lot of growing to do. My guess is she's probably going to be something like about a 90-pound, maybe closer to about 95-pound dog. A 95-pound Roddy is going to be a hard dog to control if you don't work now. You see, Rottweilers are dogs which have a particular strength. They've got a bite strength which was measured at the veterinary school at the Vanderbilt University of 2,000 pounds per square inch. So this is not a dog you're going to force straight. <laughs> now, you've been having a bit of a problem with Tammy. Basically, Tammy is a great dog, but she has starting to develop not so much aggression, but a reaction to chewing on her leash and nipping the ankles, mm -hmm. which comes across as you know a very dominant behavior. When she chews at the ankles, what are you doing? Basically, uh, telling her no and putting her in um, either a sit position and giving her a timeout. I've also created her um, using her crate and giving her a five minute or, or ten minute timeout. When she wants something, she comes over and she sort of pushes at you like that? Yeah, she can be a leaner and she can be liking her own way. Um, and basically that's where I have to put my foot down, tell her that no, you don't do this, and correct her with her, with her leash. Now when she knows it's your hand, what do you do? You reach down and you sort of pet her, yeah. right? <laughs> You know, because you look at her, her brown eyes and her, you know, her face and you feel sorry for her. First thing that you have to understand is that dogs use their mouth to control the external world. And that includes the people in their world. And it usually escalates, okay? It usually goes from leash biting to leg nipping to pulling at your clothes. And it will ratchet up one step at a time. Now, it's cute when you've got a puppy. But the thing is that you should stop thinking of her as a puppy because you have to think of what she is going to be a year from now. What we're seeing here is a set of dominance behaviors. She is basically testing. She's saying, if I can get him to do what I want, then I'm leader of this pack. And let me tell you, you don't want a Roddy running your family, <laughs> okay? We want to stop that behavior now before it starts to go up. Some of these corrections can only be done while the dog is still a puppy and small enough for you to completely control. Because dealing with a big adult bruiser <laughs> of a dominant dog can make your life miserable. And we want her to make your life better. Okay, I'm ready. Now, David, you've got Tammy in obedience class, and that's really important because you really want to establish the fact that you are in control and that she is under control now. Because if we start to put things off, it's going to be much harder to correct any problems. When Tammy decides to get pushy, She'll bite on the leash, and if that doesn't work, she will escalate. She will move over so she actually bites on your hand. And all of this we have to stop, because she basically is thinking that she is going to be the leader of the pack. You are never going to play tug-of-war games with her. You can play fetch games with her, you can play chase games with her, but you can't play tug-of-war games, because that then convinces her that it's okay to dispute things with you. Now let me show you what we're going to do when Tammy starts to get a little bit mouthy and pushy. Tammy, come here, puss, puss. There you go. Okay. The trick over here is to convince her that we are completely in charge. So if she goes to nip or she goes after the leash, what you are going to do is the following. You are going to drop down over here. You're going to take your hands, lock them under her, and lift her. Just like that. 
and you're going to lift her until she gets calm or tries to lick you, and then you're going to put her back down, and you're going to tell her, what a good girl. Well, in a dog's mind, that can only be done by the world's biggest dog. I mean, it's actually pulled her off the ground. The last time she was pulled off the ground by a dog was by her mom, who grabbed her by the scruff of the neck. In doing that, what we are really saying to her is, we're the big dog. And see, you can do that now, because she's a pup. You're going to have to do it five times a day for the next several weeks, okay? Whether she's doing something bad or not, you're just simply going to fuss her up. Tammy, come on, puss, puss. Come here, little girl. Let's go. Come on, Tam, 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 Tam. Here we go. What a good Tammy and Tammy. And as soon as she's calm, we're just going to put her right back down and we'll say, Tammy, Tammy, sit. What a good girl. There you go. Now, you notice how Tammy comes over and starts licking. She's soliciting. She's saying, okay, pay attention to me. I'm in charge around here. Now, watch what happens if I don't pay any attention to her, which I haven't. She just lays down, and she says, okay, you're top dog, because you're not paying any attention to me, and in fact, the leader of any pack pays attention when he wants to pay attention. You're going to break off eye contact and you're going to ignore her. If you're standing up, you're just going to study the horizon, learn about the weather patterns, and that sort of thing, until she lays down or moves away. If you control the attention and you control the rewards, you control the dog, and in the dog's mind, you are number one. If the dog thinks that you're number one, they're never going to put their mouth on you. They're never going to lean on you in an uncomfortable way, and they're going to respect your space. And they're still going to love you. Tammy, come to Daddy. Who's my girl? Who's my girl? Who's your boss? 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 Oh, who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Yeah, was not cheat? That's a good girl. That wasn't too bad, was it? Now, when your dog is fully grown, especially if he's a large dog like Wiley here, lifting him gently in order to show that you're in control can actually be dangerous. Now, when David tried to exert his dominance over Tammy for the first time, she actually protested and growled and showed her teeth. But since she was a puppy, she calmed down in a couple of moments. However, if he had waited until she was full grown, it might have been too late. Then trying this maneuver might have resulted in a full-blown aggressive encounter. As for David, he's found that timing is everything. Acting quickly to establish his leadership is the key to putting Tammy in her place when she gets a bit uppity. Good policy, David. You're on the right track.